Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on May 10, 2016 at 12.23 a.m. in Birmingham. And the topic is the Trump movement. Excuse me. Man, it is growing. It's, it's just, it's a moonshot. It has grown and it continues to grow. And um, people still have not heard the prophecies or the prophecy about Donald Trump, one that was talked about just a, a weeks ago by a retired fireman that was on disability and that had been stuck homebound for many years. And when he leaked this prophecy, he's been attacked. He and his wife both. So far, nothing's happened, but we have the prophecy now, and that's what we need. Donald Trump is a real thing. He is a movement. Trump is any establishment and gives to us, American citizens, the real hope that we can take our country back. And more and more people hear him and more and more people are beginning to support him. And again, I believe that even that will go through the roof when people begin to hear about that prophecy that someone told us of about Dan, uh, well, <laughs> Donald Trump. But since Glenn started out of my mouth, I will go ahead and go there. Glenn Beck, his empire is crumbling today. It's just rapidly going away. Beck has problems in a lot of areas. For many years, we thought Beck truly was for America, and he may be, and he might be, but for what? A fall? Remember that red phone that sat on his desk every day on Fox? He would swear by it, slam his fist. Just give me one senator, one congressman to call me with information, and I will protect you to hell freezes over. You'll not, I'll not lick your name. I just need something. Well, it supposedly came but not by that red phone that probably wasn't even hooked up. But um, for many years, we thought Beck truly was for America. And again, I, I don't deny that he is. He is an American. But was his agenda in, in, in a different way? Was it presented in a way that made us think one thing, but yet the bottom line was for him? I'm just wondering if, if he played us, if Beck played the role of me and you, and was it a front all these years that he did this just to build his empire, just to build himself up? Look, I heard all those speeches he made about different things, all the times he cried on air, the times he cried when he went out, and times he wrote checks to this and that. I remember those things. I watched him, and I stood on everything he said because he said it appeared to come from his heart. But he's a Mormon. Mormons, if you go look, they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. They don't believe he is the only way to salvation. They, in fact, believe that one day they'll work themselves into being a Godhead, a God with a little g or a Elohim. But they still like 
the sound of money. So it was all these years, him being on CNN, they got rid of him because he was too liberal. Sent him to Fox, and then he just kind of went over the top at Fox. He did get crazy there every now and then. But when he moved from Fox, then I haven't listened to him since. And I found out that I hadn't missed much. But tech, a bet continues today to say things that are just flat out lies. Just as Cruz said. Just as Rubio said, what was said to Rubio one night when he said, I'm going to fight this and go through hell of high water. I will be here. And then that night, right after that speech, he quit. Quit. Ended it. The same happened to Cruz. I'll fight this. I'll go to hell in high water, through hell in high water. After losing, what, Indiana? And what happened an hour after that statement? He quit. He, he quit. Somebody told him to back off. Who told him? Was it the establishment? Was he getting too um, loosely with his wording? Things that's coming out of his mouth. Could it have been something that Trump knows that he didn't know that Trump knows? And I'm thinking that maybe Trump said Rubio or someone, an aide said Rubio, hey, you're going to upset Trump because he knows what you did so-and-so. Something scared Rubio into quitting instantly. Something scared Cruz into quitting instantly. We just don't know. But I think I do. Not on Rubio, but on Cruz. I think I know. And I think a lot of you probably already heard it. And uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. In fact, I've got three blogs I'm going to talk about, and I'll give you those titles in a minute. But first... Beck continues today to hammer, 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 flat out lies, just as Cruz said, flat out lies, and finally stop all right already, Glenn Beck, stop, it's over, you know, you're done, it's over for you, that job Ted Cruz promised you is not there, it's gone, it's evaporated, it has left. It is no longer an opportunity for you, even though you just gave Cruz a half a million dollars. The job's no longer there. It's gone. Tech Beck's empire is falling at his feet today. He is on suicide watch. I've heard this, and then I read it a number of times. He said, I would probably just kill myself if, if Cruz quit. Well, Glenn Beck, Cruz quit the same evening that you said that. Don't go and hurt yourself. Hey, there's still places out there where you can bring yourself off that high horse and get on the level where people can understand you once again. Just shut up already. And um, he keeps saying, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, he is so pissed. Said he is a GOP candidate. Then Trump is not a GOP candidate. So which one is it? Well, I have that answer anyway. He says he is. Beck says he is. And Beck says he's not. All right, I'm going to make it clear to everybody. Glenn Beck, Cruz, all of you. Donald Trump is not a GOP candidate. He is a GOD candidate. That's it. In parentheses, write it down, put a period there, it's over. He is a GOD candidate. So let's move on. Okay, the future blogs, I'm going to do them, I'm going to try to do them tonight. Number one, I have some information about Judge Scalia. And when I told you that 
I frequented the place where he was found. I was right, and I found it right on the map, dead on it where he was, and I also have a list of the lies that were told you. And I proved them that night when I talked about it. I'm going to prove them again when I do the blog on them soon. Also, we're going to talk about moo-moos. <laughs> You'll like it, moo-moos. And then another one is going to be the cruise. George Bush Sr. And, you ready? Lee Harvey Oswald. What are their ties? You're going to be surprised. Jody Wolf Exposed.